Hello, hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hopefully you've had a good week so far. Heading into the rest of the week. It's a beautiful day here. Um, nice and sunny. It's not overly warm, but I, I kind of like the fall weather. That's my preference. I don't like the heat. Um, I'm hoping I've, I've allowed my pupper to stay in the room with me. She's fast asleep. She was snoring, but she stopped, so I'm hoping she'll be good. Um, if there's a loud bark, that's her though. She hears the noise and she barks. So we're gonna try today, see if she can handle it. Otherwise, I usually lock them out of my room. So anyways, hopefully, uh, well, I guess I should say welcome to Stamping A to Z. Oh dear, you can't see me. Um, for those of you who are new, it is um, a series that I started that goes through all of our products and shows you how to use them and new and different ways to use them. Um, there's always fun different ways you can come up with to use things. So today, actually, we are is episode 44 and we're looking at the Jolly Felt. So some of you probably have felt in your house if you've done crafts or your kids have done crafts. Um, it's just your craft felt, I guess, but these match our colors. So if you've got some felt and you feel like playing and crafting along today, please feel free. Um, make sure you say hi, comment. I don't, oh, I guess I should turn it on so I can actually see if there's anyone watching. Um, yeah, make sure you say hi, because I don't always, it doesn't tell me who's watching a lot of the time. So then I don't know you're there. Anyways, I'm gonna flip you around and we're gonna get started. Okay. Got you set up in here. Uh, we're crooked. How's that? Maybe a little down, a little up. Sorry. Make you dizzy here. Okay, I should have lined that up better. But all right, we are good to go. Okay, so like I said, this is the Jolly Felt. It can be found in our um, July to December mini catalog. It is in the Sweet Stockings Suite, and it is this uh, Jolly Felt. So it comes with four sheets, these four colors. So this is Cherry Cobbler, White, Old Olive, and Bumblebee. Um, they come in a 6x12 sheet. Obviously, I've been using mine, so they are no longer 6x12. Um, and that's for $12.25. So that's on page 31 of the mini catalog. So let's see what we can do with some felt. First thing I wanted to show you was just um, basic cutting of the felt. The easiest way to cut the felt is, um, this is, oh, I ran out of adhesive sheets, um, our current ones. This is super old one that Stampin' Up! used to sell. It's the exact same thing. These were just bigger sheets. And the new ones are easier to peel because they're in strips. This one was a big 12 by 12 sheet of adhesive. So anyways, you would peel it. And I feel like, I don't know, doesn't really show right now. Some of the colors I find look better on one side than the other. So just flip it to the side that you prefer. And you can tell the cutter I used kind of, I should have used fabric scissors, but I used my cutter and it kind of butchered my edge, but that's okay because we're just gonna be die cutting. Hi, Yolande, you found me, that's awesome. So if you try to die cut um, without the adhesive sheet, it can. You just end up getting more of a frayed uh, edge. I had, I had done, oh, no, I don't have it here anymore. I should have left it out as a sample. But it's just a little harder um, to get a nice clean edge. So it's better if you can use the adhesive sheet or you can use, you'll see later, I'm gonna use the foam adhesive sheets. So anything that kind of just stiffens it up. I'm sure you could even just stick it to a piece of cardstock um, if you wanted a clean cut, if you don't need the adhesive part. So lots of options as to what you can do. 
So right now, not only am I going to cut it, I did find these are older, no longer available, I'm sorry. I didn't want to use a retired item. Um, but there are some leaves in the, in the annual catalog that are similar. Um, these ones have, so anything, just because I wanted a fall theme, but there are lots of dyes that we have that have these embossing grooves. So it cuts and embosses at the same time. So um, I just wanted to show you that not only can we cut the felt, you can also emboss the felt and it actually stays embossed. It's kind of crazy. I'm just using my little mini boss here since it's perfect size for this. Creek, creek, creek. <laughs> you probably want to run it through twice at least just to get a good impression and a good cut. It is a bit of a thicker material, so I don't know if you can, let's see if it will, oh yeah, you can see it. So yeah, it has that embossed texture, and I will show you, I did these ones um, a couple days ago, and they're still very much embossed, which is crazy. So super fun, so if you find some dyes that have um, embossing I did find so or even like the stitched um, look the poinsettias have some embossing the I think some of the snowflakes the peony I think has oh, some of the leaves anyways um, or you can just straight emboss it but just so you know you can die cut and you can emboss so that's my first kind of simple uh, simple use of felt, I guess. So I just cut the cherry cobbler and the bumblebee, and I used um, these fun leaves from the Welcoming Woods. Oh, sorry, <laughs> dropping everything here. Um, these are the fun leaves that are in the Welcoming Woods. This is also in the mini catalog. That's a fun one for fall. So anyways, I actually cased this. Let me just move this out of the way. I wanted to show you. I cased it and I changed it up. I made it my own, but you know, you can always take, I love having the paper catalogs. So basically I took the idea from this and of course my leaves are different. I added um, some foil paper and I added leaves, different leaves from the, and I didn't put the ribbon like they did, but you know, I just kind of took off from that look and then made it my own. So anyways, the felt embossed is a super cool look. So that's your first fun way to play with these. Next, we've got um, oh yes. Okay, so I'm going to cut some felt again here. And I'm going to do some, um, if any of you were on, in Girl Guides or Scouts, <laughs> you'll probably remember this. Um, from there, I don't know if I can cut this at the same time. This, okay, so I've got, so this, um, these dies are from the, well, where we, the sweet stockings, um, where this felt is from. I'm just going to cut some of the pieces. I've got it backed already with um, adhesive. I don't have to do that. And again, we're just gonna, oop, what's going on here? Come on. And we will fling. I'm stuck somewhere. Oh, time to move. Okay, what's going on with my sandwich here? It doesn't want to take. Let's try going this way. I'm wondering if I'm missing something, but 
I've never had this problem before. What's going on here? I wonder if I can't. Maybe because I have it off on the edge. Here, let me try doing one at a time. Getting a little greedy here with my time. Okay. Maybe they were overlapping or something. I don't know. Oh, well, there we go. I just didn't like that extra felt, I guess. Who knows? Maybe they were overlapping and made it thicker. Okay, those are good. Let's take those off. And I won't bother doing... Uh, no, I don't need to do this. We don't need to do the green. So anyways, so I've got um, these pieces here. I don't need my little berries. Okay, and then I've pre-cut. So this is part of the... Um, sweet little stockings or sweet stockings sweet. So it has this um, stamp set and then it's got the dies that go with. So I stamped two of the stockings and cut them out ahead of time. So not to bore you. Um, you can totally color, color, ugh, color these in with your blends. I'm just going to use the felt here as my decoration. So, and I was I was going to use this one um, with the green. So since we're not doing the green, we'll leave this one out. And then we're going to take. Oh, I should have. I don't know if I have enough thread. Okay, you guys are going to get the gist from a very small amount of thread because I don't want to have to thread this. On camera that would be or for you to wait for me to thread it my eyes are getting horrible I need new glasses Rwand. <laughs> I will be getting them soon I had my first um, appointment for therapy um, on Monday and I go back today actually so we'll see what kind of prescription she comes up with. All right. Ah. I need my I wish Stampin' Up still sold these scissors. These were like the ribbon scissors, and I've kept them for ribbon only. I scream at anyone who tries to use them for paper. Um yeah, I will. It was uh she did a lot of, well, stuff like what you did for my eyes um, yesterday, yesterday or Monday, whenever it was. Um, so, okay, let me, st I can't stitch and talk. <laughs> um, so those of you who did Girl Guides uh, or took sewing of any sort, I do not remember what this stitch is called, but you loop it around. So that you get, and I think I just did this backwards because you're supposed to come up from the bottom. But anyways, it should work now. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but it, there's a stitched edge. Um, there's little holes here. So I'm just kind of following the stitched edge. Blanket stitch. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. I remember in brownies or guides or whatever it was, we had to we had to make a cushion to sit on when you're camping and and a blanket and we did this blanket edge all the way around. I mean it was way bigger. But anyways, you get the idea. So you can do this on all of this. So this is getting pretty fancy. But just to show you, you can stitch um your felt and then add it to so here's the little green the old olive and there was a little leaf um, that I added so there's lots of texture in here and just fun I used the brick um, embossing what's it called the brick and mortar embossing folder I love this folder I use it all the time so anyways that's my super cute so you can see I just colored all of this with my blends and again these were all just stamped and cut out with the die 
from this set. So if you like to color and you like your animals and you want to have fun, this is a really fun set to play with. Um, the paper in the back here is the paper that goes with this suite. It's the Sweet Stockings Designer Series paper. So the, here's the paper here. But there's like all sorts of super fun things. You can, you can even cut out the dog. Your nice retriever. There's like fun lights. There's actually a whole bunch of um, stockings that you can cut out with the dies. So you don't even have to. But if you don't have the dies, you can totally fussy cut those. You can see this paper could be used um, even without the set. Like, how cute of a Christmas card would that make? Oh, you have the paper? Do you have the whole set or just the paper you want? Okay, so stitching was our next one. So as you can see, we're kind of stepping up like I showed you last time. These ones are a little bit more... I would say between avid and casual crafter, definitely not a beginner style. There's a lot of steps and a lot of pieces. Just the paper. Okay, well, you'll have to post what you make with just the paper. I'm interested to see. Okay, um, I'm gonna show this next. Now, I have not made a card to go with this. I might surprise you and post it when I post the rest of them, which I think I forgot to post last week's. I'm going to have to get on that. I will post last week's. And I just wanted to show you that the felt can be, um, you can put embossing paste on it and have a really nice look. So I wanted to show you these. These are from the, um, again, from the mini catalog. I keep losing my mini catalog. It is the gingerbread. Come back. Okay. Let's come here. Okay. They're from this gingerbread and peppermint suite. They're in here. So sometimes you miss things when you're looking through the catalog, but these are really super nice masks. Like they've got the diagonal lines. They've got like some nice background and then the snowflakes, which I'm going to show you now. And so it won't have time to dry super well so I'm not going to make anything with it and I did not really make I was not organized enough um let me get a silicone sheet here I forgot so just so you know the paste can be super messy um and if you don't wipe it and wash it right away like off your palette knives it will it will stick and be permanent. <laughs> um, let me, how do you want this? This one, this, this one. So just make sure you're ready to um, wash things, even just with a baby wipe. And then you can rinse it in some warm water. It's easy to clean, you just have to clean it um, sooner than later. So this is the shimmery shimmery white embossing paste. Hopefully it's not dried out. This one's fairly cold. I do keep it in its bag. Oh good, it's still. Yeah, if you can keep it airtight, it will last for a long time. If you do not keep it airtight, you will have troubles. And since felt is kind of sticky, you don't really have to worry about it moving around too much on you. As I say that and <laughs> pull it up, but you know, I think we're okay here. Okay. Ah. Then comes the fun. Pulling it off is like the, the best part. It's the most rewarding. Okay, let me just clean off my knife here. Like this. Okay, ready? Ta-da! 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So you could totally, like with this one, you could do a background or you could cut out the individual snowflakes. Sorry, I just want to wipe. I want you to be able to see this, but I want to wipe the stuff off. Um, but yeah, like with the diagonal lines, you could totally make, ugh, what a mess. I should have, uh, <laughs> I should have had a wet bucket here. And of course, I'm live, so I can't go run to the sink. Okay. I'm just going to wipe all this up. So what do you think of the embossing? Isn't that nice? The shiny. But yeah, you just let that dry and then you've got like texture on texture. So again, almost like you can almost do anything with the felt that you can do with paper. told you this was messy. I should have, I should have, totally should have left this for last. Okay. Sorry. Let me just I'm gonna totally wreck my stencil. Okay. I think that's probably good. Ooh, there's a lot of shimmer in there. Okay. <laughs> I have shimmery hands. All right. Let's set that aside. Let's see if it's dry by the end of this. Okay, next up, we are going to do some, um, I guess we'll dye the felt. And there's a couple different ways you can ugh, do that. Um, we'll start with some ink and some sponge daubers. And if I can find my Oh my goodness, I'm all sticky now. Okay, so this is the white from the felt. And I've got Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight, and Rich Razzleberry. And I'm just gonna take my sponge daubers and basically you're just gonna daub it. And I mean, just keep going until it's the darkness that you want. Yeah, Stampin' Up! sells the felt. It's in the mini catalog with the um, st Sweet Stockings um, suite. So they've had, usually there's there was some last year as well. It's usually at Christmas time. And they've got, I um, can't remember what the colors were last year. There's always a white with it, which is nice. Because with the white, you can make it any color you want. And add it to the other colors. Obviously, these colors I'm not putting with the other colors, but if you used coordinating colors, you could bring in a new color. Oh my gosh, you, my hands are so messy. Okay, so this doesn't look so great right now. Um, it looks like it's been sponged on. So if you take some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, put it in a spritzer and then spray it. It kind of makes it blend together. I need, I'm going to use five of these wipes today. Sometimes I don't use any. And the other thing is, is if you're going to want to dye your, um, felt and use it for something, make sure you give it time to dry. Um, I made the mistake of not giving myself time. So I was rushing with the heat tool and you can actually singe. If you do it too much or too close, it actually starts to melt together. So I was trying to make it dry and you'll see when I ran my letters through, it kind of squished out the color. But, so that's, uh, let me see if I have a dry, oh, here we go. So this is what it looks like when it dries. So it's kind of, it's more blended um, than when it's not. Um, okay, so the next way 
to dye your felt is to simply take, um, again, you can use, this is alcohol that's in here and you'll see it kind of can leave some, um, well, you'll see, but here's a dry piece. It kind of has like not uniform coloring because some of the darker comes because it dries quicker. So again, if you've got more time for it to dry, I would recommend using your, so this is just the blue um, reinker. So you can, there's reinkers to go with each of our colored stamp pads. So if you have the reinker, you just put a couple drops of ink in and then fill it with some rubbing alcohol or if you have more time, water, because it'll give you a more even look. So it just depends on the look you're going for. Um, see, well, and my spray is spraying funny, probably because it's almost empty. So that doesn't help, but I kind of like the look. <laughs> it's kind of that splattered look. So anyway, so you can dye this felt any color you want. And if you wanted to go even, I would like more color. You can go over it. You could let it dry, go over it again if you really wanted full color. It's depending on the look you're going for. So there's another way to dye your felt any of the colors you would like. Okay, so then what I did was I took my, so I kind of squished the color out of um, this one because it was still wet when I ran it through. I added the adhesive um, foam sheets and then I just stuck it to the felt. So it was a bit wet when I stuck it and it still stuck and was fine. So that's good. You know, I'm always testing for you guys. Make it the best. I did add, and I don't know if you can see, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, I added our shimmer paint to a bit of rubbing alcohol also in a um, mister spray. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my words. Anyways, and then I sprayed it again to add a bit of shimmer to it. So that's another option too. Um... So then I will show you. So this is even thicker than having the adhesive um, sheet and the felt. Now you've got foam sheet and felt. Um, I'm going to take, so we played with these last week. This is, was my focus um, on last week's episode, the Playful Alphabet never have too much of the playful alphabet and here we're gonna go with a Christmas I'm gonna go Noel as you can see I already did it once but we'll do it again So it's quite, let's see how this, I did it on my big boss before, it's taking it. So we'll see how hard it is on the mini. Oh, that's no problem at all. I don't know what was going on before. I just didn't like, oh, it looks like maybe it's still wet. That or I still had blue on my end from before. No, I think it's still wet. Look at that. That can't be. moving funny. It must be the shimmer. Um, well, it did, the color came off a bit. So maybe it still is wet or maybe it's because of the shimmer that I have on there. I don't know. Anyways, it still has the color, so we're still good. You just have to might want to wipe your um, plates down if you don't want the color to transfer and then you'll see it pops off quite easily although I don't have a sheet to put it on so maybe I won't pop them out but they do pop out and then you just take out 
here oh and then you've got them popped up on the phone and then so this is the I've got one more thing to sh well one more two more anyways um I'm going to show you and we're going to change this up a little bit so here's the lettering and this is the beautiful paper from the festive whimsy trees um so I am going to I cut this out of the old olive felt um using the whimsy tree dye and then I well I will show you I will show you okay here's the felt here's the tree I describe it when I can show it okay I think I can fit a second one on here I do have the adhesive sheet on the back to help me out <laughs> yes see oh you know what it's when this felt is all the way through it doesn't like that mental note it needs to not be off the end to start I think it just makes it a little too thick for this mini guy but that's okay we figured it out so if it's not working just pull your felt in a bit it might be that it's just hanging off the end and it doesn't like that I don't want to make him mad okay here's our beautiful tree so you can see it cuts quite easily and nicely especially when you have fresher cutting plates I have super old cutting plates on my big boss and I probably should change them because it doesn't cut as nice anymore um, but these plates and the new I don't know if it's the difference between our new big boss and the old big shot but they last and you can make it so they're always flat okay what am I looking for I'm looking for so if you have some any kind of glitter at home you can add some glitter to some white embossing powder. I did not use, where's my card go? So on this one, I didn't use any white. It's all just glitter, because I had a glitter embossing powder, but we don't sell that anymore. So we're gonna make our own, and I wanted to make the tree look a little more snowy. So we have our tree. I'm gonna take, oops, sorry. I'm going to take my old Versamark. You can see it's nice and dirty. I don't really care about it. Not that um, the color off the felt isn't going to do anything to it. Um, but whenever I'm kind of just playing with dirty hands and whatever, I like to use the old one. My new one got a stain on it the other day. I almost cried. Okay. Oh, I should have. I saw a post. From another demonstrator and it was so perfect it was about um, crafting not being about perfection and it's about the process and enjoying kind of making it versus looking perfect and I thought oh that's so true it's so perfect a lot of times I worry about the the look more than the perfection and you don't enjoy making it okay so let's see how frosty this ends up looking i'm going to take um some tweezers any tweezers will do and i'm going to take my heat tool which i should have been preheating i think this is the messiest live i've done i don't think my hands have ever been this messy before okay so then we're just, again, make sure you keep your heat high enough that you're not singeing the felt. You just want to do it enough to melt the embossing powder. So if you add your, just any glitter to embossing powder, the embossing powder will hold the glitter down. Well, I don't think I shook up my white and my glitter well enough. And I thought my bottom isn't very white, but you could do it again if I wanted to come back. Let me see. I know that bottom part's messy. Oh, 
looks like it. Okay. So there. I could, ooh, I could go back and do a little bit more. So I have, but you know what? The snow gets knocked up and realistically it's never all even and nice. So there we go. Snowy glitter Christmas tree. So again, you can, you can emboss, you can do a bossing powder. You can color your felt in a couple different ways. You can die cut the felt. You can stitch the felt. You can put embossing paste on the felt um, and you can emboss the felt. So many things you can do. Oh, it's so pretty. It's not quite dry yet, so I'm not going to try and do anything yet. But if you have any ideas of what I should do with this, please, I'd love to hear them. Um, yeah, so I'll try and come up with thing, something and I'll post it when I post um the pictures of the other cards from today. Um, oh, I wanted to just let you know. Okay, so as you know, I've mentioned over and over, we're coming to the end of celebration. So if there's anything you're still wanting for free from that celebration catalog, uh, make sure you do it before the end of September. If you want to join my team, which is a super awesome deal right now, you get that whole, you get to choose a bundle for free. So it's $135 to join. You get to choose $165 worth of product plus one of these bundles that are worth between like 60 and $80. So you're getting a whole lot of stuff for $135. No shipping, no tax. So don't miss out on that. If you're even thinking about it, uh, contact me. I can help you get started with that and or you can just go on my store and there's a join button and it'll walk you through. I also wanted to let you know I do have a card club starting in October. It'll be for nine months so it'll be from October till June. Um, I need nine people and it's you get to order anything you want every month for minimum order is $35 so basically you are um signing up you're committing to $35 a month um kind of like a book club so if you're into the book club you know you're buying a book every month this you're buying $35 of whatever you want a month um of craft stuff and then you get to play it'll be online for now I don't know if we will be in person down the road we will see um so everybody gets one month where they are the host. So you will get host rewards for a month. Um, as a participant, all the supplies will be mailed to you at this point or porch pickup, whatever. Um, and we will do a live. I will probably do it as a Zoom, but then I'll record it and have it somehow so you can have the video if you can't make it that day. So it's kind of nice being online because if you can't make it, then you still get to kind of watch what happened and people interacting and um, have fun. So if you think you'd be interested, let me know. I still have some spots. And then, um, so we just finished with October Paper Pumpkin. I haven't received mine yet, but when I do, I will open it up. The next month for November is this peaceful Christmas paper pumpkin kit. So next month it will include um, stuff to create 10 Christmas cards and coordinating envelopes. It is, um, it coordinates I believe with the peaceful, peaceful place suite, which is one of my fave, I don't know if I marked it on here. It is probably my most favorite seat in the catalog colors and it's just a fun one to play with so it's supposed to coordinate with this suite so i don't know if that means it'll stick with the kind of the grays black and silver theme or if it just will kind of coordinate with the stamp set i am not sure but that's what it says um that's going to be for November. So that's fun. Um, yeah, 
I'm I will be putting out a couple um, Christmas card classes soon so if you're interested in those let me know and I'll make sure to let you know about them and yeah if you're gonna put in an order at any time um, make sure you use this host code if you're over $200 don't use the host code and you get the rewards yourself um, if you're over the $60 you will get mailed to you my um, card kit for the month so um, yeah make sure you use the host code or if you're over 200 you'll still get the card kit and yeah hopefully I inspired you to pull out some felt and have fun all right we'll see you guys next week bye